What is going on you guys, it is AverLR32 here bringing you guys my YCS Atlanta deck profile. Ended up going six and three at the event. Very happy with the results. Unfortunately, I did not make day two like I thought. Um, but regardless, I wanted to give you guys uh, this deck profile because this is gonna be my last Cosmo deck profile before I get rid of this stuff. Have my buddy buying uh, all three Dark Destroyers, all three Farm Girls, both my Ghost Stories and both my Cosmojos. And hopefully I'll be able to get rid of the other stuff as time goes by. So yeah, but other than that, I'm gonna get into the deck profile for you guys and show everything off and then I'll tell you all my matchups. But I did go six and three at the event. So uh, to get right into it, three Dark Destroyer, three Farm Girl, three Slip Rider, two Forerunner. Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering why I'm doing it this way, it's because my tripod is broken. So yeah, I, I apologize about that. We got uh, two Wicked Witch, two Tin Can, one Straw Man, one Good Witch, two Ghost Ogres, which were amazing uh, at the event. Like, they were so, so, so good. And then we are running the Artifact Engine of Double Scythe, one Morale Attack, and one Begal Attack. And for the spells, we have Triple Cosmo Town, Triple e Telly, Double Ignition, and one Twin Twister, which came in handy when it needed to. Then for the traps, we have Double Cosmojo, Triple Artifact Sanctum, and then the Triple Solemn Brigade. Once again, the Solemn Brigade is a thing. Funny story about this. Um, me and my dad both entered the event. He opened up one pack, pulled a Solemn Strike. I immediately went back to the convention center because my hotel was like two minutes away and sold this to a player for $50. So I made over $100 at the event. I was really happy, and uh, my buddy's paying four sixty-five dollars for uh, this Cosmo stuff. So very, uh, very happy about that. Um, now for the uh, extra deck, even though it's pretty much irrelevant along with the side deck, we have one Ptolemus, which I never made, uh, Castell, which I never made, Cowboy, which I made once against the Yang Zing guy, and I beat him game one because of it. He was at uh, like 500 life points. Uh, never made Abyss Dweller. Made Durandal against the Yang Zing guy game two uh, because he added a Yang Zing path, and then I made uh, Durandal. When he drew, I uh, detached, make him draw four, and made myself draw three. Pleades, uh, never made it. Volk Source never made it. Diamond never made it. Guy Dragon never made it. Odd Eyes never made. Black Rose I did make it against once again the Yang Zing guy. He made me use a lot of stuff that I hadn't used for the whole day from that point. Um, but he had four back row and a face up iron wall and a uh, I think he had like a set monster on board. And I had Wicked Witch and Durandal with no materials. So he ended his turn. I go at your end phase, E Telly, get out Ghost Ogre in defense, and it'll stay because your iron wall. And he's like, crap, that's right. So I drew for turn, I draw into an uh, Artifact Ignition, and I go um, Sink into Black Rose, response to Summon, and we were in time by that point, and it was turn four, and then once I passed turn, he was gonna be on the last turn. And I was at 1800 to his 1900, he activates Skill Drain, I chain Ignition from my hand, he's like, yeah, that's fine, I'm like, nuke, nuke everything, and I'm sitting with a Slip Rider, Dark Destroyer, and Farm Girl in hand, so I summon out the Farm Girl, swing, uh, and then he just scooped, so that was really nice. And then we've got uh, Thought Ruler never made, Scrap Dragon never made, and then got Double Chimera Tech, which I never made. And then for the side deck, um, Double Cyber Dragon, Double Cyber Dragon Core. We're also playing the Double Lancia, which I never sided, and the only time I side decked the Cyber Dragons was against the Cosmo Mirror, which I only played one of. One Twin Twister, Double System Down, which I side decked against the Cosmo Mirror. Uh, drew into both of them in my opening hand game too, which was kind of bleh. Double Mask of Restrict, Double Mind Crush, which I didn't side that much. I only played against two Monarch decks, so I used the Mask of Restrict like twice. And then pretty much all I used all day was just the double anti spells. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was pretty nice. Now, uh, one thing, sorry for that major zoom up, you guys. Um, <clears throat> one thing I will say about the event is that uh, there actually was a crap ton of players there which uh, really surprised me with the weather and everything. We ended up having almost 1,500. Um, and I think that's honestly the biggest event that I've ever been to uh, that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, just to kind of get into my matchups here is you guys look at this pile of insaneness. Round one, I played Pepe, I 2 owed him. So I was 1-0. Round two, I played against Magicians, I 2 owed. Round three, I played against Monarchs, he 2 owed me easily. There was just nothing I could do about it. Um, he dropped Majesty's Fiend game one and game two, and I just couldn't do anything. Round four, I played against Pepe. Uh, and did I just go on? Yes, round four, I 2 owed him. Because I remember the, the streak that I was on was like I would win two, lose one, win two, lose one, then near the end I would like win one, lose one. Round five, I played against Monarchs. I beat him literally in like a minute. Um, 2 owed him easily. <clears throat> um, game one, he ended up 
uh, summoning Edios, and I he activated the effect of Edios, and I chain Ghost Ogre. It blows up. He activates Tenacity, reveals Ether to get Stormforth. He sets a card and passes. I draw. Uh, I activate. Um, or no, I summon. Uh, I summon Strawman. He's like, that's fine. I banish for Slip Rider to pop his face down, thinking it's like Prime Monarch. He chains his Stormforth. So I swing for 23, activate the E-Tell, he's still in battle phase, and he scoops. I'm like, sweet. Game two, he ends up uh, going first. Yeah, he ends up going first. Um, he basically bricked, and then I was just able to kind of OTK him from there. I ended up uh, hitting him with a farm girl to add uh, Wicked Witch. I banished for Wicked Witch uh, to swing with 19, then I banished for Dark Destroyer, popped itself for uh, Good Witch, swung for 18, and then I banished the Good Witch to play out the Forerunner that I opened up with, and I attacked him for exactly 2,800 points of damage per game. I was like, wow. And I, did, I didn't even realize that was even an OTK situation until I actually started doing the play, which was kind of funny. So, yeah, that was a thing. Round four, I played against Cosmo. He was an egotistical little bitch. Um, he ended up 2 owing me, which is fine. Uh, he was playing the Artifact Engine also, but he was using, he was abusing Tin Can more. He was playing Call of Haunted. So kind of interesting, but he was just kind of an egotistical ass. So, yeah, I don't know if he topped or not, but he was just a little bitch. Um, round 7 played against Yang Zing, went to time with him, 2 0 him. Um, that was a really annoying game I ended up winning. Round 8 I played against uh, Pepe. He ended up just destroying me. His his deck was busted, and then he tried to, and then I was joking around saying, like, you know, rest in peace, Pepe, and he's like, the deck will still be good after the adjustments. I'm like, you're, you're freaking retarded. Just shut your mouth. You're just mad that you lost a bunch of money, you dumbass. <laughs> and then round nine, I played against Pepe. I thought that this would get me to day two if I won. Turns out it didn't. I ended up coming in 213th place um, after this, but I did 2 0 Pepe. Or no, we went to three games, excuse me. He ended up OTKing me like game one. I was able to beat him game two, and then game three. Uh, he let me go first, and I just like set four back row, played Farm Girl, and had Dark Shore in hand. He drew, and as soon as he drew, I played Anti Spell, and he was salty. He's just like, I really didn't think that you played that. <laughs> so yeah, six and three for the event. Really happy with the results. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to buy these, uh, not at the event, but just you know, I'm glad that I was able to buy all the stuff that I needed. And um, yeah, this is one last look at my deck before I. Uh, go and sell it to my buddy and try and sell what else I can of the deck to uh, anyone else that wants it. Besides the artifact stuff, I'll obviously, I'll obviously be holding on to that. And also, unfortunately, because I felt like crap, guys, um, I've just been sick from allergies and stuff like that for the past few days. <clears throat> so I ended up not staying around at the event to get deck profiles from people. The card guys were already there. Robbie was already there. I'm just going to let them take care of it. Um, I really wish I could have stayed to do deck profiles. But unfortunately, just with my health, I just was not in the mood to get my ass up early to do deck profiles. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video.